Yo, what is going on, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're going to cover a bunch of JMod tweets regarding some upcoming updates that we can expect in the near future. So, without any further ado, let's just jump right in the video. Let go! Alright guys, before we get started on any of the major updates that we're going to be talking about for this video, I just want to say that Mod Osborne said on Twitter, just a little PSA for you guys, that the Clue Scroll rework is not coming out tomorrow. It's not going to be the first update of the month, it's actually scheduled for after double XP, meaning it's going to be the last update of the month. So, Clue Scroll rework, not getting it till that latter end of February. So, just want to let you guys know about that before we get ahead with the rest of the video. Okay, guys. So, first up, we're going to be talking about quickly. We're looking at a tweet by Mod Orion, and he says, Another quick addition, a bit of extra info on the Elite Thieving Outfit by request of JX James H. And then we have this image right here where you can basically see what he's added with the teleport options with the Elite Thieving Outfit. It'll now tell you how many strikes you have on each different elf clan assuming you have strikes on those and you'll know exactly how many more strikes you'll have before you actually get caught nothing really major it's just like a nice little check if you want to just teleport around the elf city and you need to know right off the bat which ones you have either previously been to and you want to finish up or you know which ones are even available versus which ones aren't so I guess it's a nice little just quality life fix just to see that right there on the go. You also have it on your debuff bar if you're unable to look at a clan, but at least this tells you how many strikes if you're under that three strike, how much you have on each clan. Just, you know, really good tool tip or, you know, information to have on hand. Anyways, moving on, we have tweets by Mod Shawnee. So first up, he says, I've always found it a pain specifically distinguishing which monsters my Demon Slayer perk works on, so I decided to make it visible so you can tell at a glance. Also works with Undead and Dragon Slayer. So as you can see right here, he's fighting an Abyssal Demon. It now shows under the target information window right below the monster's hp it has a little icon for that demon slayer perk letting you know that you're getting that damage modifier if you happen to be wearing something on you that has the demon slayer perk obviously so it's a really good way to differentiate you know whether or not your perk is of any use at that particular monster so that's really good to have always good to have those kinds of information right on the go you don't have to make any type of guesswork so i'm really glad to have that into the game so yeah Overall good. And finally, last thing I want to talk about by Mod Shani also is, he says, also for people who use Immortality, mostly looking at you Telos P5 players, when it kicks in, now holds you in place for 1.2 seconds less, meaning that you can move just after the animation finishes. No longer will you be a snail as a rock crushes you. So you can see here in the quick video that immediately after the animation of Immortality picking you right back up, you're immediately able to move again. You don't have that delay that was previously there, which was getting people killed or getting at least hit really hard with rocks that are falling on them in Telos P5. I mean, it does have a lot of other advantages, Overall, so anybody who, you know, assumes any tank rolls at any of the bosses who uses immortality frequently, at least you got much more mobility when this ends up going live. So that is actually really good to hear. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to be happy about that, especially, like I said, those Telos players. Anyways, that pretty much wraps it up for this. I don't know when any of these are going to go out live into the game. I will let you know when I find out. So I'm going to be keeping an eye out for that. I don't know when or what tomorrow's update is going to be. Maybe the bank rework teaser, but I mean, it's just a couple of hours before we end up finding that out anyways so stay tuned tomorrow for that could be the mimic boss i really don't know we're gonna have to wait and see but yeah for anything discussed in this video i will let you know as soon as i get the information from any of the jmods so be sure to look out on the channel for that anyways if you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you are not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things runescape related then hit that subscribe button anyways i appreciate you guys watching i am out peace